What's up YouTube? For tonight, we have a full Batman villain team. This was for my Mystery Monday, which kind of got postponed a couple of days, like it mostly always does. Right, if you've got a theme team as usual, post it below in the comment section. Hi, it's Thumbed Up Comment, we'll be the winner. If you have an interesting idea as well, something original, I may pick it out for Mystery Monday, like I did, or Mystery Theme Team. I'm just going to call it Mystery Theme Team now, because I always miss it today. Uh, mystery Theme Team, like I did today. Um, if you enjoy this series, make sure you hit that like button as well. Also, quickly, uh, make sure you look through my playlist of themes that I've already done, so we're not repeating the same themes in the comment section. Okay, so we have a Swampert lead. Now, this is a pretty interesting battle, uh, to say the least. So, I have uh, Glalie here as uh, Mr. Freeze, aptly named. Okay, so we got a Mega Shred off the bat. Yes! <laughs> I love it when this happens. It's my favourite. Well, there wasn't much I could do to Mega Swampert because I was running a... I was actually running a physical Glalie. Had Avalanche on it, which I thought would be pretty cool. Uh, so, I could uh, do some... Pretty decent power with uh, that, you know, as you get the second boost uh, by going last there. Uh, it doesn't do too much to Swamp It, obviously sets up the Rain Dance there. And it's got this Swift Swim up, which is scary. So I was thinking, well, it's probably going to go for Waterfall. Um, most sets have Waterfall, so I can... I'm trying to postpone this Rain so I can, uh, you know, stall it out. So I think it'll probably go for something like a Fighting Move or an Ice Punch. I was thinking, well, I can at least go out and make Glalie. I've got a Focus Sash on that. Uh, if it does, and it goes for super power, I'm like, oh, okay, that's, uh, yeah, that, that would have annihilated my attack turn, and my Glalie as well, if I didn't have the Focus Ash. Okay, so, it, it does get an attack and defense drop, which is good, I might be able to try and revenge kill it with my, uh, attack turn later on. Um, so there's not much else I can really do, because I can't check moves like this at the moment too well, so I'm just gonna let my Glalie die. Did a bit of damage to him, uh, that's the best I can really do there. Okay, so I had an idea that to stall out this rain, like one or two more, I think it was like one more turn I needed to do it for. So I just swap in Cacturn deliberately and do a double swap just in case I stayed in and went for that superpower again, and so I went into my Bennett. And uh, good thing is they took the bait here and uh, I predicted that one and that was uh, able to get past that rain, which was good. All right, so it's gonna set up the rain dance again, like I kind of thought it would, or I thought it may just attacked me directly, but uh, it didn't. That was good. Um, so I just went for Ominous Wind. This is a uh, Choice Specs Bonnet. It's, it was pretty fun to use. Uh, actually, very, very fun to use. So I'm going to get like wrecked by Waterfall there again. Think you'll go for a Waterfall. I went back into Cacturn there um, and go for the Water Absorb, and I got it again, so that's nice. So I was thinking here, it's well within my KO range of Sucker Punch, and they do actually withdraw there because I've got that negative defense, so I know that I'm going to be able to take it out. And I knew they'd swap there, so I thought... Let's just go for an uh, interesting move. I, I made a uh, sub-punching Cacturn for the fun of it. And uh, Focus Punch isn't going to do a hell of a lot to Moltres because it's flying type. Uh, <laughs> Moltres in the rain, you meta. Uh, anyways, uh, so I did a little bit of damage to it. That's all right. I, I, I was going to go for a sub, but I thought, let's just get a let's just get a uh, uh, Focus Punch off. Okay, so into Empoleon, and I'm expecting some sort of probably Hurricane because Fire would just be weak as piss in the rain. And Empoleon's a nice little uh, counter to this. Even it's got Hidden Power Grass. I don't think it's going to want to stay into as like a scold or anything like that, or any sort of water move at all. Okay, so in comes Drag Algae. Now, I'm not wasn't sure what set this was going to run. Uh, a lot of time it runs the adaptability, or I can just run a bulky set that you know sets up. Uh, I can set up the uh, toxic spikes, uh, phasing set. There's a lot of them. Mostly it's the choice specs adaptability I've seen mostly in this tier. Okay, anyway, so Focus Blast was obvious there because why would it swap it into that? Uh, he was going to use a fighting move there for sure. Or Sludge Wave. I, I, I thought it may use Sludge Wave and I might live it badly. Anyways, uh, the reason they swapped there definitely confirms that it was choice specs. Like, that was obvious there. Okay, so Ominous Wind does a fair uh, chunk to Chestnut, which is nice. I'm thinking this is going to be a, a, a sweeper or... A defensive wall is one of those two because that ominous wind did like lots. Okay, so in uh, comes Blissey. I'm not going to be able to do anything this because I am actually choice specs too. Uh, they don't know that at this point in time. They pr that probably wouldn't have given away because special user isn't going to really stay in against Blissey. Okay, um, I predict that toxic nicer there uh, with um, Roserade. Now this Roserade is a, uh, a physical sweep up with uh, Sword Dance, uh, Technician, Bullet Seed, Pin Missile and Poison Jab just for some stab as well. It works pretty nicely if you can get the, uh, so, um, the Sword Dance up. Um, I gave it King's Rock just to be like a troll. Um, oh, I get I only get two freaking bullet punches there. That sucks. Plus, 
that's such a good swap in for, uh, ro like, Rosalia. I'm forgetting his name. Roserade. Su such a good swap in for that. Like, there was nothing I could do, even with boosted stats. Okay, so it's going to go for Drake or Meteor this time. Um, I'm going to be able to resist that. I was hoping he didn't predict my swap in and go for that focus miss again, even though it probably would have hit. But that's good. Uh, I've got... I've got a rest on this set, but this is not a sleep talk set. It's something uh, a little bit different. So in uh, comes Chestnut. Anyway, I just went for Icy Wind because you know it may have uh, just in case it wasn't Trospex, which I would have been very surprised if it wasn't. Uh, that does fair damage. I get a speed drop too. Um, I'm not really sure what it was run if it's running anything at speed, but if it is, it's not going to be able to outspeed me uh, at all now. Okay, so I'm just going to throw up Iron Defense here. This is a little bit different set. I was expecting. Uh, just f obviously a fighting move there. I nearly went back into Burnett, but I thought, oh, let's try and get this set up if I can. And I just take it on 16 health, which is awesome. I've got rest uh, rest on this set with Chesto Berry. Uh, I've got Scold and Iron Defense. So I've seen those uh, seen those moves. And i got uh, max health and uh, special defense. So I'm very bulked out there. Uh, all round uh, bulkiness. Okay, this team didn't really have any tanks or anything on it. Just for the Pokemon that I had to uh, use. So... I, I had to do the best with what I had, really. Uh, yeah, I understand that one. Okay, so uh, Hammer Arm is going to do still lots of damage for me. That's like a three-hit KO. Still, um, since it's got a couple of rounds of lefties, it's going to... Yeah, it's got quite a bit of health back already. Um, I was thinking, half thinking, should I go for Scald or should I just keep going for Ice Wind? The chances are I probably won't get a, boy, uh, like a burn. And uh, one more of them is going to be able to take it out, too. Okay. Now, I, I was actually worried about... The, 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 I was actually worried about the... Blissey probably if my like if I lost my I can't I couldn't lose my Cacturn or my Roserade because that Blissey would be like Im just impossible to kill so I had to keep that one in mind at this point in the game too alright so Chestnut finally swaps out I kind of thought it would after all that and uh, in comes the Blissey of course uh, Icy Wind is not going to do like nothing to this look how much this does <laughs> it does absolutely nothing I, I don't I think I was like 10 health or something uh, anyway Lefty's going to recover its health so that's cool uh, there's nothing I can really do here. Um, I was expecting maybe a seismic toss, but I just went to sleep anyway because I thought I'd out. I knew that I'd outspeed it. I thought I knew that I'd outspeed it. I'd get all my health back with the Chester Bear. Okay. Um, sorry, I didn't have my Chester. I used my. Sorry, I apologize. I used my Chester Bear up, and I thought, well, let's sustain and see what it's got. It can't toxic me. Uh, you know, it, it really can't do too much for me. Uh, so it's just going to keep using Seismic Toss over and over again. Like, I got one round of Sleep Off, which was good. I thought, well, let's swap that out now, because I got only one turn to wake up. I might be able to use that for fodder or something later. So I went back into uh, Burnett to uh, take the Seismic Toss with the Ghost Type. Now, uh, I did a double swap here, because I thought Blissey may swap, and I went into like poison ivy protecting the toxic and it was nice i was like sweet okay that's good now i'm going to set up the sword dance i haven't revealed this uh, this set as of yet so i've got my sword dance up and it's got technician and bullet puncher okay so um, i'm getting hit by seismic toss but that's cool uh that that's fine because that's minimal damage i was hoping it didn't have flamethrower or ice beam i got free sacks that would be terrible oh my god look at bullet <laughs> look at bullet seeds crit there that was crazy um i think i probably would have taken it out anyway um i only had I had to hit it three times to take it out, and I hit it twice and got a crit, so... Yeah, that's just how things go. Um, I don't think Blissey would have been able to do much to me anyway. Okay, so I thought, oh, let's be a let's be a real smart RC and let's go for a King's Rock, even though this thing is going to resist me, like, to the hills. So let's see if I can get, like, five and a row and a King's Rock, then swap out. Or just keep spamming it. Okay, so that's, uh, I think that's, no, that's that was four in a row, and no King's Rock. And I got to take a Drake or Meteor to face, so that's my own damn fault for being a smart ass and trying to go for a King's Rock flinch. Uh, but yeah, you, you should try it the physical set time for time, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, there is a, you definitely need that sword dance up though, it uh, makes a massive, massive difference. Its attack is rather, uh, it's, it's pretty terrible without that. Okay, so into uh, my CAC turn here. And now I thought, well, I might be able to scare off with any sort of physical move here and thinking what I should do. Um, I threw up the substitute this time instead of going uh, like for Focus Punch, obviously just in case it didn't uh, swap out. Now, I've got the Focus Punch up. Uh, Duran is going to have to go for an X Scissor here. I know that it's not going to risk going for Home Claws uh, with me behind a sub, but like Cacton behind a sub is uh, pretty dangerous and this one is too uh, with the Focus Punch. Now, I knew this wouldn't take it out because it's got nice defense and it's obviously it's not stabbed, so it does it's getting close to three quarters and I do the Sucker Punch to follow up. Takes the Durant out. They could have gone for Home Claws there and played Mind Games. 
But if they started playing mind games, I would have started throwing subs up and it wouldn't have been uh, good for them. Okay, so in comes Moltres. I was worried about this because I, I wasn't sure that Sucker Punch was going to, you know, be enough to take that. I, I thought it'd get very, very close, but not quite. Okay, so into Empolon, there's not much I can check this, you know, this Fire Blast with, so I just have to swap that in and take that. I actually just lived that really badly. I can see it's Life Orb there too, so that's cool. A um, little bit of damage. Fire Blast, they actually went for a Fire Blast again. Um, I definitely wasn't going to swap there on that one, not with only 16 health and asleep. And uh, just a continued Fire Blast. So it didn't actually make, that miss made no difference to the battle at all. Um, absolutely nothing. Okay. A little bit of uh, Life Orb damage there, which is good. Uh, that, that's nice for trying to take this out. Okay, so my other Pokemon that I didn't reveal yet was my special Lopunny. Now, Lopunny is a lot faster than the Moltres, unless it was Scarf, which I'm pretty sure that it wasn't because we just seen the Life Orb, Kappa. Right, um, so in comes the Chestnut. Uh, I think this was just to take whatever attack it was. Now, this is a special set with Charge Beam and it didn't even kill which I didn't really it, it didn't really matter if I did or not and I didn't get a special attack boost which sucks so I was, I was trying to get that boost uh, the right there so I just thought oh bugger I'm not even going like, to waste time going for this let's just go for the hyper voice and take this out okay <laughs> this is funny uh, let's imagine all the, all the a lot of the people that I battled reactions to some of these sets it, it would be Frasos okay so in comes this thing I knew that I wouldn't be able to take it out but I thought oh fuck it let's just go for the ice beam see how much it does nearly takes it out it was very very close there uh, very very close we got the life orb happening on this and it's going to go for the sludge wave that's definitely going to take me out if that is Bex which I believe it is and yeah bye bye okay so there's two pokes left on both sides of the field um, I've got that I've got my Cacturn left now. I had to try and win this battle with my Cacturn. Alright, so I'm going to throw up the sub here. Um, I'm going to see if I can play some mind games with it. And it's going to continually go for this, uh, the Sludge Wave here. Uh, okay. I was thinking, is, you know, is Sucker Punch going to be enough to take out Moltres? And is it going to be enough to take out the Mega Swamp? It? Like, I had to think about all these things. Uh, right here. Okay, so it's to continue uh, attacking me. It, look, it didn't matter if I put the subs up or not. Like, for any of those Pokemon are going to be able to one-shot me. That's why I was using the subs, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so uh, finally I just go for the Sucker Punch there. Um, <laughs> I, I would have laughed my ass off if that was like Poison Point or something. Anyways, uh, Moltres is going to come into this one. So, um, I, I'm sure it's Adaptability uh, with that choice specs. Okay, so uh, Sucker Punch here. I hit the Moltres and it fucking doesn't kill! Jeez, it doesn't kill and fire blast hits. I mean, yeah. Jeez, that they had some, they really had some balls going for fire blast there. They they went for it on very low health. Okay, so the life orb does take the Moltres out. I'm sure I was happy with because I would have not liked a, a fire blast. Now, this was a very frustrating point in this battle. So I sent in my uh, my choice specs uh, Burnett here, and I've got ominous weed, which is my best stab move here. And I was thinking, well. With max damage, I could uh, definitely, well, take this out for sure. And uh, if I lift this waterfall, and I do lift the waterfall, don't get flinch, and I'm able to almost wind out here, and it fucking lives on like nothing. I got min damage, I did the calcs after. Uh, but, you know, that's that's how it is. GG. <laughs> anyway, bit of fun, guys. Hope you enjoy this one. Peace out.